Uh, first, for all the kids out there, did you guys know that Jack is also a captain too? So we're both captains. We just do different things. <laughs> Fun thing, right? So when I started off sailing at nine years old, my mother told me I could do and be anything in life. And I got to go on a boat. I got to see the ocean. And then I realized, hey, I can sail around the world. And so I started working as a camper and going to school and get doing good in school, which is very important. And I started studying engineering, and then that led me to become a captain. Amazing. And uh, you're, you're tri you have a, a trip plan to sail around the world. Yes. Can you tell me why that's like a, a first or a historic plan that you have? Yeah, absolutely. So there has been two African-American males who've gone around the world. The first one was Captain Teddy Seymour in 1989. The second one was Captain Bill Pinckney in 1992. And both of them stopped off at different places on their voyages. Well, the way you set world records is you have to go around the world nonstop. So I'm just a natural progression of the history of the stage. And then eventually one of you guys, or girls, may come along and say, you know what? I can do better than Captain Lawson did and may break my records. You never know. Awesome. Um, I think that the, the kids that, that have me as a teacher, they probably know what my boat looks like, but the boat <laughs> you're sailing is totally different. And I think they might be really excited to see what it looks like. So yeah, I'm, let's, gonna show, let's show I'm gonna show my screen. And this boat is the boat you're planning to do your voyage in, if, if, I'm, if I'm correct. It's a sister ship. It's, it's, it's identical to the my boat, which it's I'm exactly going to the same. Yes, go yeah. for it. And after I show that one, I'm going to show another video that shows what a route around the world looks like, mm -hmm. what path would be that maybe you would take. It's not exactly what you would take, but it's like similar. Is that right? Very it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's basically the same route, but I'm leaving for the United States versus Europe. Okay, great. So here are two very short videos for you guys to see what Captain Donald is going to is planning to do. <laughs> and Captain Donald, if you want to tell us what we're looking at, you feel free. Yes, absolutely. So uh, this is called a trimaran. It's a three-hauled boat. Uh, the Polynesians developed them back in the ancient days, and we've kind of perfected them with carbon fiber and all kinds of exotic materials. And I actually won two championships racing on this type of boat uh, on the East Coast. And so my natural progression is now to take this kind of boat around the world because only six people out of 185 people who've gone around the world have sailed around the world on a boat like this by themselves. So I'll be the first American as well. So the history that we're breaking here is not just about you know, my culture being African-American, but it's American history as well. And then we're trying to break world records. So now it's human history as well. So these boats are faster than cars. Uh, you see right on board the boat, there's about 11 folks on that boat right there. Uh, we, are, we can go up to about 45 miles per hour on the water using just the wind. And you're going to do that all by yourself. Those 11 people Absolutely. won't be there. <laughs> Absolutely. So the, this right here is just a fun sail you see in this video here. But the boats were designed to be sailed by one or two people, uh, generally speaking. Wow. Amazing. Um, and let me go ahead and show that next video of... Oh, actually, I'll, I'll let this play to the end because you get another good shot of the boat yeah. from... Uh, and uh, can you tell me why it like why it looks like it's flying? Why is it above, yeah. like, flying above the water? Right. So under the boat in the water, we have what's called a foil. And it lifts the boat out of the water. And the less boat in the water, the less drag you have. So you see little streams there under the water there, under the boat? Those foils lift it up. And so there's less boat in the water. You're faster. And a little science for you guys, displacement. The more boat in the water, the more drag you have. And so the foils lift the boat out of the water. Awesome. I'm so glad you said displacement because that's something I'm teaching my students in my elective class, in my, in my Harbor Studies class. Ah, see, there you go. Okay, Our guys, amazing. so now this video is what it looks like when someone sails all the way around the world. 
Yes. Uh, just remember that Captain Donald's going to do a slightly different route, leaving from closer to where we are now, leaving from the USA. That's right. So the VO here is a, uh, is a map of the Vendée Globe, which is a race I will do in 2024, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about the record. So what you have here is you start from the North Atlantic, you cross the equator, you go on the St. Helena High, which is down in the south, uh, near the South Atlantic. Mr. Yes. Mr. Captain Donald, I'm going to pause it right now just to ask you, how long would it take you, if you're doing your plan just like you want to, how long would it take you to get to where the boat is on the screen right now? Right here? Yeah. With, with our boat? <laughs> well, 12 days. <laughs> about 12 days. So it yeah. goes by quickly, but you could see this is about 12 days for him to get from Europe all the way down. Keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 no. Always good question there. 12 days there. By the time I get to Cape of Good Hope off of uh, Africa, maybe 20 days. And then now we're in Indian Ocean here. And we go under Africa. Madagascar is there. And you'll see Australia pop up with a uh, uh, perch ray over there, the city over there, Cape Lewin. And then as you pass Cape Lewin um, under Australia, you go to New Zealand, which is right there. And then you enter the South Pacific. This area here is the most empty spot in the world. In fact, there's a, there are places in the Pacific Ocean where the closest person near you is on the space station above you, about 198 miles above you. So just think about that, how lonely it is down there. But there's dolphins there, so you'll be fine. And then from there, you go on to uh, Cape Horn, which is right under uh, South America there. And from there, you pop back up, you pass the Falklands, you go back up to uh, the equator, and then from there, you go back around uh, the Azores High and in the back in Europe. And so it seems kind of simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is that it's about 24,000 miles. And so when you think about it from the standpoint of the United States, the United States is about five to 6,000 miles long. And so you're zip zipping back across the USA over and over again is basically what you're doing. So okay. um, quite a job. Captain Donald, can we follow you on your voyage? Like, how, how can we know where you are at? Like, what if we're worried about you and we want to make sure you're doing okay and, <laughs> and, and on track to beat the record or um, just safe and happy? Yes. So there's multiple ways. Uh, first, depending on your parents' permission, of course, you're allowed to follow me on Instagram and Facebook because that's where we have our education stuff, and information there. Um, more importantly... Captain Jack and I have been talking about you guys actually getting a live tracker from us where you guys can place it in your school. And every day you're going to be able to see where I am. And on certain days, if the weather permits, I'll be able to call in just like this and talk to you guys and say, hey, how you guys doing? What you guys think about yesterday? Rough day, good day. <laughs> so you got some pictures some images of dolphins and stuff. Uh, we're going to have uh, quite an extensive uh, package for everyone. And it's all from us. You guys get to use it, and you guys are you guys are going to be part of a coalition of schools around the country that get to follow our voyage. That sounds great. And Captain Donald, before we run out of time, my last question for you is: What about the kids? What if they want to be a captain? And do you have any like any shout outs for anybody or um, any yes. advice for the kids that are sort of interested in what in doing similar things? Yeah. So actually, I heard about two students in particular. I just want to say. Awesome work, guys. First one is Mason, who I think is in the first grade. I heard he's building a model boat in your class. And full disclosure, I used to be a naval architect and engineer. I used to build boats. And I won two state science fairs building boats. So build your boat. Use your imagination. Try every concept that you can think of because you never know. It could come a future technology on boats. The second one is Jarrell, who I think is in the second grade. And I heard he wants to grow up to be a captain, too. So I think second graders are about nine years old, right? Eight years old. Well, I was nine years old when I decided I was going to become a captain as well. So if you work hard, you do good in school, you, you may become an admiral <laughs> instead of a captain. You never know. Awesome. Um, I don't want to go too long because we, we, you know, we definitely have to get started with our normal school day. <laughs> I could uh, talk all day. <laughs> yeah, we could ask you questions all day. Um, but I guess we will give a chance for a teacher or student to just ask maybe one really good question. If any teacher here is a student, have a really important question. Um, 
so if students, if you want to ask a question to Captain Donald or even just say, uh, you know, say something to him, raise your hand and tell your teacher right now. You can come up real quick and, and say it. We just have time for one question. <laughs> Anybody? <See a> couple. <laughs> no? <laughs> and while they prepare their question, um, we still have just quick more announcements too. Um, we want to give a shout out to Jalen and, and Shamaya. It's their birthday. Shemaya's All right. Oh, Shemaya's birthday is coming up, but it's Jalen's birthday today. So happy. Yay. All right. And then we'll, we have two more now to go. If anybody has that quick question. No? Any questions for Captain Donald? We're, we're, we're going to come up with a whole list of them because we'll have time to talk about it later. So no worries. It's a little bit, a little bit yes. uh, short notice for that. That they not a problem, not a problem. <laughs> um, it's about. Oh, we got boat. one. All right, okay, it's loud and clear. What do you got? It's about boats. What about boats? They sail, right? Yes, sir. In the same, in the same, in the same. So, what's your question? Um. How is he going to make sure he doesn't sink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Excellent and question. Also, and also, uh, when when are you taking off? You want to know? Cool, cool. All right. So departure for around the world record starts in January of two on uh, twenty three. So we have about eleven months to prep. Uh, and leading to the second question or the first question about safety. Safety is the one rule because I'm happily married <laughs> to my high school sweetheart, and I plan on coming home <laughs> after my trips are over. So. One of the things to make sure the boat is to spec, make sure that uh, everything's done correctly. And even the strategy, which I won't go too far into, but the strategy is designed to make sure I could do things quickly and safely as possible. And so always come home. That's rule number one. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Captain Donald. I guess Miss Juliana has a couple more announcements. You can hang out if you want to, or you could say goodbye, Captain Donald, up to well, you. But we'll definitely talk to you again soon. And we're, yeah. we're, I'm really excited to follow your your preparations and your actual voyage. Well, I do appreciate it, Cap. And um, I will see all you guys later, okay? Be good in school. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Everybody say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.